today is the day, episode three, Redo Blue. Let's get it. What is going on everyone? Derek here today bringing you episode three to the engine bay and today is the final episode and I'm so stoked. Today we have a familiar face that hasn't been on the channel in some time. Gordon here is gonna give me a hand with blue, but before we go into blue situation, you got some new stuff done to the 10, didn't you? Don't hate on me, all right? It's all good, three valve lives matter. I mean, come on guys, comment down below. Three valve lives do matter, I mean, it's still a Mustang. It's a GT, that's all that really matters. Yeah, there you go, okay, so. Yeah, the dial dynamics, side uh, markers. Got the side markers right there. And right there, and then like he said, we got the boss splitter down here. And the last time you guys saw the car, um, he actually just did the Brembo, so we got Brembos as well. And this is the gold mine right here. Gordon is always finding deals. And he has these mint condition Recaro seats, leather front and back. How much did you pay for these? Nine hundred dollars for the Recaros. And if you guys didn't know, Gordon has nav, premium, thirteen cluster. Everything is good to go with this car. So you'll be attending Mustang Week, right? Hell yeah. I'll see y'all there. Hell y'all, brother. Well, we're gonna go and head into the garage and I gotta show you guys exactly what we're working with because, you know, we do have a little bit of work to get done today and come on, brighten up, brighten up, brighten up. There we go. But yes, yeah, so I got everything laid out right here and it should be rather simple. It's just, you know, a little tedious shit, but yeah, take a look. All right, so we got the new coolant tank as you guys saw before, new radiator hose. We got this like balance thing, it's the stock one. I just gotta clean it up a little more. I did clean it, but it got a little dirty. And like I said in the last video, I actually had to go and repaint these and I used Plasti Dip this time because, you know, Mustang Week's right around the corner. I don't have time to go to a junkyard, pick all that shit out. I gotta get blue up and running today. Derek's a ricer. But right here, just got a bag of all the bolts, clamps, etc. I got the battery charging right there and I'm deciding or not if I wanna get a new battery, a better battery, cause yeah, this is Autocraft Silver, this shit sucks. Got the alternator right here, we gotta throw back in. I cleaned up the cold air intake, got some throttle body cleaner for the throttle body right here. Serpentine belt, air filter. Last but not least, we're gonna have to get our cooling going with the distilled water and the antifreeze. So, we got some work to do, man. We, we got are. some work to do. Oh yeah, so how do you like the tire letters? I like them, they're, they're different. It's different. But I like them a lot. The car's dirty as shit right now and I it hasn't moved. I'll put it that way. But I, I, I swear, dude, they look so good. The white, the black, the blue, and you have the white decals yeah. that really like, it complements like it. Decal, yeah, exactly. It, it really fits it, I think, but you know, we do have one more thing before Mustang Week, a modification. You can't tell them yet. You know what it is. I know what it is. And it's gonna make it dope. Yeah, it's gonna make it so much better. Yes. It's something y'all been wishing for for a long time. A long time. It's not a bumper, unfortunately, guys, because, you know, I, it just hasn't Derek's come yet. broke, okay? Donate <laughs> to him, all right? Yeah, donate. PayPal link's in the description. But we're gonna go ahead and pop this hood up. Get right to work. We can't waste any time, because I got class at six o'clock. I really don't want to go. Yeah. All right. Derek, what is this? I said a 10 second car, not a 10 minute car. Here she is guys, I haven't done too much more cleaning to it, but it is a lot cleaner than what it was and it's gonna look a lot better when we get these parts installed. So what I'm thinking guys is we're gonna throw the alternator back on, I have throttle body cleaner, I'm gonna clean that off really quick and then throw the throttle body back on. We're gonna save the BBK cold air intake along with the new air filter last because I do have to get the car aired up. And last time when I was messing with this, I killed the battery from airing it up and down all the time. So the battery is now charging, so that's gonna be definitely last. Then we're gonna go ahead and run our new radiator tubes. And from there, um, the coolant tank, the valence, and I, that should be pretty much it. There's really not much to this. You know, there is one thing more, Derek. You What's that? Boost it. No. I need to boost it? Yeah, you need to boost it. I'm this gonna... motor, or yeah. should I do a build on a two valve? Both, why not? All right, cool, yeah, we might, yeah. Okay, yeah, anyways. All right, so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this throttle body cleaned up. And just we're just gonna pull down that. apply it in there. Oh my god, dude. There's so much shit falling out of this right now. Yeah, let it all pour out. Good god. Oh, gross. So right now, guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna head on the GoPro. I have that head strap again, and it just makes it so much easier so I can use both of my hands. So we will see you guys on the GoPro. All right, so we are now on the GoPro, as you guys can see. So we're gonna go ahead and line this throttle body up. Gordon, can you lift that stuff? All right, so we got the throttle body on. We're just gonna have to um, torque these down, obviously, and then this right here just bolts up right in there. So we gotta get that as well. And then that'll be the throttle body for you. Maybe you gotta keep the speed trim vehicle. Or Bugatti, I haven't decided. Oh my god. Alright, there it goes. Throttle positioning, and this is the uh, idle air. 
All right, so we just got the throttle body on and we did the throttle cables along with that. So now we're gonna go ahead and run some of the tubing that goes into the BBK cold air intake so we can throw our um, alternator back on. And then from there, probably jump right into the cold air intake going into the throttle body. But yeah, making a little bit of progress right now. And how ridiculous do I look? Duh! Right, this goes in right here. All right, so applying the first tube. And then this goes into this. Yeah, like that. snap. I should snap right in. This one. That's gonna sit right there. This one hooks on right over here into there, and then over into there. So these are gonna go into the cold air intake. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw this alternator on. Again, I'll be on the GoPro because I look like a goofball. As soon as we get that on, it's game time. Bolt's already on there, Gordon. Just be careful, try not to hit my pretty blue tubes. Yeah, let's sit right in there. Perfect. That's fine. It's just getting tight. Yeah, tighten that sucker in good. All right, alternator is now in. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this Moroso coolant tank on that LMR hooked me up with. So if you guys are interested in this, it's very nice. It's like a aluminum polished black. You can um, check out the link in the description. It'll take you right to it. Hose goes right here. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this battery in so we can get this car aired up and hopefully everything goes as planned because you know sometimes everything's against Derek. So now we're working on the cold air intake. So that's gonna line up with that. And that goes on the throttle body up there. Here, put that throttle body on all the way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this part down as tight as we possibly can. This is gonna determine whether or not this air filter and something's happening. As you can see, we got our coolant tank in here along with our radiator tube. Now, this is the hardest part. What we gotta do is we gotta turn the wheel, get our air filter through the bottom of the fender because that's just the way these are with these ears. And yeah, hook that up. But right now, we're just gonna turn the wheel and keep on moving. All right, so a little update for you guys. This has been such a mess. So this is what we're working with right now. We got a lot of it back on, but we have a lot more to go, honestly. Anyways, guys, I have to run the class, so we're gonna pick this back up probably tomorrow. But anyways, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm picking this up the next day, we ran into some trouble. And you know, it really wasn't anything serious. It was just due to the fact that like I had school and I was like trying to rush and get this done. And that's the worst thing to do, especially when you're trying to put something together. You never want to rush, but you know, with filming and installing stuff, it gets really complicated and really tough at times. And especially when you're working against time, it doesn't, doesn't work out for you. But when I got home, I do want to say I did indeed finish the engine bay and I'll give you guys a little look at it. All right, let's get this opened up. And there she is. So from just looking at it, as you guys can see, it looks a lot cleaner and I'm actually very impressed with it and so satisfied. And I know our main goal was to delete or, you know, get black tubes, but you know, these are gonna have to do for now just until after Mustang week. Got the new coolant here, got our clean BBK cold air intake along with the new filter. Throttle body is cleaned, everything put back together. And since we've been working on this for a couple of weeks now and you know, it's now completed, I think it's time for a cold start. What you guys think? Hit that thumbs up button fam, here we go. <laughs> Guys, Blue is now alive and I am so excited because I haven't driven this car in so long and you know uh, Totally worth the wait though totally worth the wait. It just looks so much better and I swear it sounds a lot better, too I must say Mustang week fam. But anyways guys before I wrap up this video I do want to apologize. I know typically my Redo Blue episodes are more of like an in-depth video but I cannot describe to you how much trouble we were having yesterday trying to film, beat time, and install all this stuff and have it done by yesterday. And it didn't really work out as I wanted but you know sometimes it just happens and just gotta get over it. And I do want to give out a huge shout out and thank you to Late Model Restoration for making all of this happen. You know they went out and sponsored me, sent me some parts and we got it done so I, without them honestly this probably would have never happened. My baby she's alive. Anyways guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Redo Blue. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop your boy a thumbs up. It means so much to me. Drop a comment with any questions or concerns. If you wanna say what's up, that's cool too. Most importantly, fam, hit that subscribe button. But until next time, America. Call that ballin', doing this is my calling. Flow is so appalling. My phone off and she calling. I'm like, yeah, what it
though. 